Hello my lovely friends, it's Eva here from Permaculture Haven in Pacific Haven in Queensland, Australia. We have October now, our beautiful subtropical springtime. The temperatures are warmer, the weather is just beautiful. And yeah, now I want to go and check all my flowering fruit trees and fruit bushes, what is flowering now. And want to take you with me. I hope you enjoyed the little tour. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, always highly appreciated. Put them in the comment section below. And yeah, now let's get into it. The very first one here I can see is the beautiful almond tree, which is we just started flowering. That's the self-pollinating almond. I never had any almonds yet. This little tree is about three years old now. And so yeah, looking forward, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> I get some almonds. I just recently planted the Panama berry or the strawberry tree. And this one is also flowering now beautifully. And lots of new growth. And also already the first berry here, the little baby one. So I hope I get the chance to try very soon. A beautiful pomegranate it's also loaded with flowers and flower buds so I am hoping for some beautiful fruit this season too uh, this bush is about five years old and it's the height about uh, yeah, two, two and a half meters now. With lots and lots of new growth. I trimmed the top and it's got a beautiful bushy now. So I trimmed the top in end of winter and it's growing beautifully. I've got a few of them, but this is the oldest one. So, yeah, hoping for some lovely fruit. Now, guess what? This is my delicious favorite, beautiful tamarillo, which is flowering like crazy. And not only flowering i also noticed the first fruit forming like there and lots and lots of flowers so hope all goes well and I have delicious tamarillos. I grew this one from the seed, by the way. And I have few more now planted, but they are only babies. Also grown from a seed, like these ones here. Of course not flowering, so now back to topic. <laughs> Flowering and fruiting in October is also the beautiful tamari uh, pepino, pepino fruit with lots and lots of flowers. But we also harvesting the fruit regularly now. There are some big ones too just getting ripe and because we are coming into summer 
the fruit fly may come very soon too so i will have to put a netting box just to make sure i get the fruit <laughs> without the fruit fly and yeah the older the pepino bush the larger the fruits will be so if you have a young one and only tiny fruits don't worry care about the soil and reach the soil and yeah the pepino will go crazy and the older they will be so the better and larger the fruit will be too this one is about about three years old two to three years old and it's about one meter high so the cayenne pepper bush is also back to life <laughs> lost all the leaves during winter and i have trimmed it a little and it's got lots and lots of beautiful flowers and yeah the fruits very very soon the pigeon pea is flowering and fruiting like crazy for one month now so we are harvesting when we get the time and also giving it to the birds because they love it too it's still time to grow pepino if you if you want to start to and I have the seeds available on my website too. You can hear the noise here because I am just motoring with the soaking hose. But now back to topic. So flowering, of course flowering is the beautiful elderberry bush and forming new fruits already. This one anyway elderberry is flowering all the time and giving us delicious flowers for tea and the berries for others delicious things we do not flowering but lots and lots of flower buds already on my Cylon Hill gooseberry so I will make an update with the flowering bush because the flowers are beautiful so stay tuned <laughs> many of our bananas are also flowering and forming new fruit the lime tree just stopped flowering and it has formed already little fruits fruitlets But the boysenberry is finally flowering. The wait is over. So I'm so looking forward to the delicious boysenberries. And I hope we have a quiet few. So we see how we go. I'm really happy to see the wompy flowering. So the flower buds are on. So this will be the second year we are getting the wompy fruit. The lemon guava or the lemon, uh, the yellow cherry guava also flowering with lots and lots of flower buds and already some fruits formed but this one is like flowering and fruiting all the time with lots of new beautiful growth on it as well so these are the little fruitlets so lemon guava or yellow cherry guava the name very quickly growing and very quick, quickly yeah, flowering and setting fruit. Our little navel orange just stopped flowering and formed <laughs> a few little oranges. So I will 
see if we get to eat <laughs> this season. Oh wow, that's the low cut and I just noticed one more fruit. We harvested the fruit. There is a lot of like uh, two months ago or something. Lots of new growth and I didn't notice there was another one. Mm, so I get to enjoy it. <laughs> the blueberries were yeah, basically just finished flowering and set some fruit. Flowering and fruiting all the time now as well is the alpine strawberry or the wild strawberry and it's giving us lots and lots of fruit delicious and this one grows uh, well the little bushes or how you would call them the little plants <laughs> under the lime tree in the fruit tree guild and still flowering and fruiting all the time the mulberry we have a few of them and harvesting all the time the delicious fruit now and more mulberries still flowering and setting fruit and here is the golden globe uh, plum which just stopped flowering and have set some fruit so I really have to put some net on them if we want to get it to try <laughs> because it is the very first time. And I actually planted this little tree about five months ago. So yeah, looking really good and healthy. And the beautiful new growth on the grapes, beautiful new leaves and flowers, basically setting new fruits. Beautiful, fresh new leaves. And the beautiful mango tree, which I grew from a seed, put the seed in eight years ago. Just stopped flowering. There are still some flowers on them. And I think it set some fruit, which would be lovely. <laughs> it will be the first time we get to try the fruit, hopefully. <laughs> so this one is eight years old, grown from a seed. It's a bow and mango. And I think that's about it for the fruiting trees and bushes we have more bananas here just setting new fruit but i think that's about it for the fruiting ones so we still have a beginning of october i've got more young fruit trees and bushes which may start fruiting this month maybe when we're lucky i will see how we go the star fruit for example could start flowering very soon and some others i will keep you updated and i really hope you like the video if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you still didn't. And I see you next time. All good with all your garden projects. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Enjoy your gardens.
and see you next time bye bye oh and the tomatoes are flowering too <laughs> These are the black cherries.